Hi guys, welcome back to WP Paper Manager. In this video, I'm going to show you how to translate custom post types with WPML. There's two ways to actually translate custom post types. One by placing a XML file at your themes root directory that I'm going to show you. And another one is going to WPML settings. So you can do that in both ways. Whatever feels best for you, you can choose that part. So as you can see, I am logged in into my FTP account in this tab. So from here, we can go to WP content and then into our themes and then to our active theme directory. So that's even listing for me. And in this directory, we're gonna create a file named WPML dash config dot xml right so then we're gonna click ok and in here we need to type in some xml tag that you can actually visit our knowledge base and obtain the xml tag or you can even visit wpml's configuration uh, guide as well so i will leave this link in the description like both links how to obtain the xml file and which links to visit for wpml documentation so let's paste the XML tag that we will explain, right? So as you see, we have first opening XML tag says WPML config. Then we have our custom types. So that allows us to tell WPML what, which custom types we are allowing. So in this, this is actually a group. And then we have one single item called custom type. As you see, we have display as translated one translate one and event organizer i'm not really like explaining all the tags over here but you can like uh, copy paste as it is and add your custom post types over here uh, right below these ones as well as you can see a uh, custom post type as uh, we added event organizer and event venue so that will allow us to translate these event organizers over here and these venues so we can now save this file and wpml will do its magic automatically so that was the manual way to let WPML know about custom post types and how you can do that from the backend side without editing any files. For that, we can visit our WPML settings and we will actually scroll down to our post type translation. So this is a screen what you saw in time of the uh, setup and I didn't really explain that much about it. So in here actually you see uh, this translatable over here uh, that's set to default and they are locked and we can even actually click over here to unlock this since these are actually obtaining a XML value and we can check over here to make them translatable and only show translated items I hope you remember how I explained these uh, three options over here how they work so we are switching them falling back to default language to only showing translated items so that's how you allow WPML to show and translate custom post types using XML or from the setting side so now we can actually save this and we will head over to our organizer section and we will see how the dashboard looks like after we allowed the translation so as you can see we have our organizer dashboard but instead of the four default column now we have an language row as well where we can click to add translation for our language right so let's click over here And as you can see, uh, we have the strings over here or text that we need to translate for our custom post type. So let me go ahead and translate these strings as quickly as possible. And as you can see, I have completed all the three strings translation and the status bar or the progress bar is filled as well. Now we can actually click on complete to go back to our WordPress environment. It's going to take a minute or two to process the translation and we will have a translated organizer in our website. So that's how you let WPML know about your custom post types and translate them as well.
I hope this video gave you a bit idea about how to do this task and how to enable custom post type translation, how to translate them as well. Being that said, I'm Sharad. Come join me next time where we will translate strings with WPML. Until then, I'm saying goodbye. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.